this episode, we are exploring and exploding some myths. Worms. Dr. Brendan, apparently, if you feed your dog raw, you need to deworm once a month. What say you? Twaddle, not twaddle. Uh, definite twaddle. That's, um, let me explain why that's a definite twaddle. Um, it's not about what you're feeding as to how frequently you need to worm your dog. Um, and I would say if you're really worried about the wormers that you're giving, <clears throat> there's a really easy way to determine whether you need to worm at all and that's to do a worm count, okay? Uh, so what we're looking at is the microscopic eggs that you will not see. You can find those in the feces, the poo of your dogs. And so there are certain companies, uh, your vet will be able to do this for you, but also the, there are companies that you can actually find on the internet. Wormcount.com is a really great one that many people in the UK use uh, for their dogs. You go on there, find out about the, the worm counts that you need to do. Um, they send you a kit, you fill it, you send it back, um, and they will give you a count. And if there's no need for um, worming because there's no eggs at all in that um, sample, you don't need to worm. Brilliant. So just going slightly off topic, how often would you recommend people consider doing that? I would say that it's important to understand the life cycle of a worm is from ingested you know, uh, hatching egg um, or larvae into the dog will mean that it takes one month, 30 days for that egg to become an adult worm, to migrate back through the body, be swallowed, attach itself into the intestine of um, the, the dog and actually start producing eggs. So doing it more frequently than once a month is absolutely no point whatsoever. Doing it within a month of worming your dog is no point whatsoever. So I would say if you're going to do a worm count, I always will say for the very young pups where the life cycle is slightly different because they will have got those worms from mum, then you probably need to do that worm count once a month and have a look at what's going on and worm appropriately. And you can speak to your vet about the appropriate wormers um, or how to deal with those from a herbal point of view if you've got a holistic vet. Um, and for going forwards after they're about uh, four to six months old, you would then go to every three months, keep checking, making sure that they're negative. If they're still negative counts, by the time they've got to one year and you've been doing it regularly like that, then doing it once every six months is probably more than adequate, unless you're going somewhere new, you've maybe gone to the continent, you've maybe gone to the southeast of the country and you're worried about lungworm, then literally within a month of coming back, consider doing a worm count at that point, okay? Brilliant. That's pretty much how to do it. Well, I think that's clear. So, Dr. Brendan Clark, thank you so much.